Okay, so now we are on our desktop. The Arduino has been connected. There's also one thing. The Actually, at this point, your Arduino should have a green light that is on to signify it is actually working. So now let us double click on the Arduino software. Now there's one important thing I want you to remember. Remember it said COM3. So we keep that in mind just in case we need to go looking for the Arduino. This usually should work pretty smoothly. So as you can see it's starting up. Okay, we'll allow access. This happens sometimes. You may not get this on your computer. But I'm definitely going to allow access to it. Okay. So there we go. Let's take a look at this. Now this is called the, they call it the IDE, the Integrated Development Environment. Basically, it's the software that you're using to write your program to control the Arduino. There are two sections. Programming the Arduino, a program is called a sketch, like, an, like your drawing, okay? So we always have two parts. There's a setup, which over here it has put your setup code here to run once. This means that you'll be setting up certain directions I'm going to give you to tell the Arduino to do certain things. And then the loop here is where it says right here, put your main code here, and this will run over and over and over again. Here's a quick little lesson about programming. This says a loop, anything in between these braces will operate, will run over and over again. Same thing here, where it says set up, anything between the braces is what this program will read to put the information into the Arduino, okay? So the first program, the first very, very simple program we're going to write is to turn on the pin, okay? So what you do, you first, on the setup, you need to tell the Arduino that that pin is sending something out, not something in, sending something out, okay? So that, on computer language, is called an output. I'm sure you've heard input and output before. So an output lets you, an output tells the Arduino that you are sending something, you're turning the pin on, or turning it, yeah, turning it on or off, which in computer terms is high or low. Okay, so this is the command you usually type. You type pin mode, okay, and you put parentheses. 13 is the pin that is used for that little LED so you can look at it. I'll explain what I'm typing. Output. Okay. Okay, this he this right here says pin mode, which is the mode of the pin, that individual pin that you saw in the picture. 13, pin number 13, is set to output. That's basically what this is. You can put any number in here. You can put 14, 13, 1. But this case, we're using 13 because we want to see what it's going to do. Output tells it what it's going to do. Out, it's pin 13 is an output. And you always put a semicolon after a line of this type of code. This... The double, the double sign right here means a comment. You can leave yourself little notes. And I left a note here that says this line, this is a little, what we call in programming called comments, set pin 13 to output. You can write anything you want in here. It doesn't really matter. Anything that you understand.
but it's good to make it clear so when someone else reads it, they understand what this is actually doing. Okay, so now you've told the Arduino you want pin 13 to be an output, either high or low, okay? The loop is now the area of where we control the pins. This is where the fun part begins. So on the loop, we want to say, I'll explain what I'm putting over here. Okay, so this command here says digital write, which is a little command that says on pin 13, let's send, let's make it high, not low, but high. So we're saying digital write to pin 13 is going to be high. So, and I left a little note, turn on pin 13. Okay, so let's try this. So the way you send this to the Arduino is the term we call uploading and downloading. Okay, so this one we want to actually send it. There's these little symbols up here. Okay, open and then save. Okay, so let's click save. Okay, it wants us to save this program. So let's call it first light or first LED okay and then we can hit save it's a good habit to save things so first LED that's our program okay so and that and then you're getting a little message here the sketch name had to be modified sketch names are only consistent with ASCII characters don't worry about this this actually will put this little underscore here because you're not supposed to put spaces it doesn't like spaces so what you can do is you can put the words together and just capitalize each word so so you can read it but if you put sep if you put spaces don't worry it'll just put a little underscore so let's look at what we have here we have some tools okay we have the board which we're using you can see it's it's already set on what we have the, the Uno, okay, and it already found the COM port, so we don't want to change that, okay. The rest of this I will explain later. These are the most important things. Make sure it found your board, the Uno, and look at all the boards it supports. It supports a lot of them. So make sure it's on Uno, and the COM port is one, and that's okay. Let's see what else we have here. Ah, look at this. This is the important thing. Upload. This means it sends it to the, to the chip, the Arduino. We have our editor, and then we have file, okay? So let's go to upload, okay? And we'll click on upload. And right now it is, sent, it is compiling, okay? That means it's changing this code into a code that the Arduino understands. It's compiling the sketch. Okay, so now I'm going to click on this and upload it, and it goes, there we go, it's on, it's on high. If we change it to low, okay. If we change this to low and send it, use this to send it to the Arduino. If I send that now, I'm going to click on, I'm going to click on that. Now it's uploading it. And as you notice, it went off. So let's repeat this again. I'm going to change that to high. This is the fun part. You can keep playing with this over and over again if you don't understand it. And then you can 
we can see what it does. Okay, so now I'm going to click on this and upload it. And it goes, there we go, it's on, it's on high. And let me change this again to low. And I will send it again. And there we go, it turns it off. So now you've successfully turned a pin on and off. I will later be posting a video to add all these extra things you can do with this. You can put a delay, make it blink, but this is the first one. And I, I congratulate you for getting this far. And if you have any questions, please put it in the comment. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and also like the video. Remember, keep on learning.